the Imbrantoft, uh, come from a private collection and was uh, collected from two people, Mr. Brantoft and his late wife, Annette Brantoft. And they started in the early, 50, early, early 70s to dedicate whatever they could afford to work the art. Our collection is um, what to, has to show kind of an encyclopedia view of the 20th century and 21st century. And they have more than 150 works by Andy Warhol, for example. As a public museum, you just have to try to, to show the highest quality from all the most important artists of the 20th century and 21st century. idea is um, to choose artists which kind of have the same feeling and the same approach. Here you have more um, different rooms, you have different sizes, you have di different entrances and you have that very, very um, well, private kind of floor. The wooden floor is much more like a private home. major impact, the strength of the works, they are not on the for, uh, first glance just overpowering you, that they come one by one. Berlin is very lively, maybe a little bit hectic sometimes, but it's totally different from Munich being more down to, in a way, more down to earth. Uh, everything maybe takes a little bit longer. Everything had been very conservative for ages, but as we all know and realized after the building of the Pinakothek der Moderne, of course again with the Brandhoff collection, Munich just arrived our t in our times, definitely. I'm just happy that we have those beautiful differences in our approach to culture.